Okay guys, what we have up here is a female pastel lesser hypo, or in other words, instead of a hypo, an orange ghost. Um, she's been bred exclusively twice, <laughs> only twice, to my Enchi GHI. So obviously we're gonna get ourselves some 100% het combos. So uh, a couple of things, uh, before you go and take female off the eggs, keep her on the eggs, get everything ready. So get your uh, egg box ready, get your new tub and enclosure ready if, you've, if you're if you not gonna use the old one because what I'm not gonna do with this girl here, I'm basically gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna swap her into a new tub. It's fresh, it's clean, new paper, new hide, new water bowl, everything. Then we're gonna clean and disinfect out that one. Um, the egg box is inside the incubator, ready to go. I normally set them up probably about a week or two before they're due to lay. Uh, just gets the, the, um, the, the, cause get, <laughs> I use vermiculite and basically gets it up to temperature. So uh, the eggs aren't gonna sit on a sort of uneven temperatured uh, egg box, if you like. So that's normally been in the incubator for like I said, for up to a week before obviously I take the female off the eggs. So we're gonna take her off the eggs. She's a first time mom, so we'll see exactly how she gets on and uh, yeah, fingers crossed I don't get tagged. <laughs> Use my snake whispering charms. Right then, let's see what we can go. All right. So I'm gonna take her card and I'm gonna take my information. Again, data is the key. So I'm gonna put that there and remember to do that. Is that okay as you can see we've got one two three four five six eggs which is fantastic I never palpate anymore I used to I don't do it anymore uh, first thing I'm going to do again mark them up just so I know where the tops are everyone you, you know everyone's got their own method and their own ways uh, Justin did a real good video the other day it was great to see his more um, his pro tips back all got veins, brilliant. Um, and Justin actually separates the eggs. Uh, he basically um, rotates the yolk so uh, it's in the, or, or in a position that he is happy with. Um, and that works, that's fine. I don't do that. Uh, I just, how they lay is how they stay. Um, again, he's had great success. I, I've had great success. He's obviously been doing it longer than me. However, um, it's just the way it works for me and, and that's it. So. I'm going to take these off and put them in the egg box. Uh, peg in place, obviously stop the, them from rolling because that one was pretty loose. And again, she's laid these today. Um, like I said, you can separate them if you want them. One, two. Uh, me personally, I don't. It's just something I'm not comfortable with doing. I'll place these in there. And all I do is I just put them in the middle uh, and nudge them nice and tight how they were laid as if they were in a coil now it's not going anywhere let's take these off so on the front of the tub we're going to put down the female the date they were laid and the date due um, again everyone's got their own preference on what information they write down. So, pastel lesser hypo uh, laid. Uh, today's date is the 9th. Sorry, the 8th. 8th of the 4th. So they are due on. So, 4, 5, 6. Minus five equals third of the six. So we're looking for pipping dates around about the third of the six. Um, 
again she was due to lay on the 11th so she's a little bit early which is fine not a problem she's looking good she's completely empty they are all great perfect eggs uh, and that's it guys in the incubator 55 days later we should have a clutch so what do we do we're going to get an information card uh, obviously we weigh them so I'll get my reptile scan which is what I use and we're going to scan her ID and we're going to put down clutch scan the father or fathers if there's only one in this case done so now what I'm doing on reptile, on reptile scan is basically setting up this clutch with identification okay so fathers are done only one so eight count we've got six good eggs six and zero bad confirm that's it so that clutch now is registered on my information on my phone uh, so again I can add more information to that as they go on and they hatch okay so that's that done the other thing I'm going to do with this is obviously add the weight I'm going to weigh her after I've cleaned her up uh, before I put her away so that's important so you guys know I'm an old-fashioned sort of guy regarding pen and paper still think it's a definite way forward um, in this instance I used to put down the locks uh, I've stopped doing that because I've started to use this uh, the reptile scan however I still do uh, write down the uh, due day and all that sort of stuff so um, so she shed out on the 11th of the 3rd she's had 6 eggs, 0 slugs uh, date they were laid with the 8th of the 4th now the next thing we're going to do is weigh her when I started breeding her she was just under 1600 grams okay so we're going to weigh her bear in mind I've taken 6 eggs away normally they're between 18 and 100 grams so this will be interesting to see exactly what she is there so before I do that let's get these in the incubator okay so we've got her washed off and now we're going to weigh her now what I'll use show you my secrets <laughs> I use a uh, basically a fishing uh, measuring uh, device uh, the reason why this goes really heavy this goes up to I think it's about 25 kilos so it doesn't matter if your snakes five kilos or over this will still work really well I suspend that from the ceiling basically we've got the snake in a pillar case uh, the pillar case weighs 80 grams so whatever this is um, whatever this says obviously will take away the 80 grams and that's exactly what we've got on the female so she's weighing in at exactly uh, minus the 80 grams as I said she's coming in at uh, 1240 fantastic so here she is hey sweetheart so she's all washed bathed ready to go I'll show I'll tell you a little trick what I use um, I use a washing up liquid um, obviously you're not going to get it around the face but what I use uh, lukewarm water um, and I just uh, rub uh, washing up liquid over them and it really does take the scent away and as you can see she's absolutely stunning and she's back to being docile so yeah and it really does work guys I've tried numerous things uh, but for me washing up liquid really does the trick So again, we're going to do the reptor scan, or reptile scan, reptor scan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to scan that. Brilliant, done. Now we're going to input it onto the data sheet as well, just in case you lose the data on the phone.
and there we have it guys so normally what I do uh, on the tubs I'll write what they were when I started to breed them last season so in this female's case I'll put on next season that I started her at just under 1600 grams now ideally I want her to be either that weight or above that weight before I start breeding her again that's what I normally go off some people say 20 meals you know 20 meals and they're ready to go I'd just rather do it on weight because I know then she's either either heavier or she's put the weight back on when I started last season if that makes sense okay hope there's been some tips and tricks in this one guys that helps you out again it's that time of year um, where we're starting to get all our clutches remember guys fail to prepare prepare to fail get them incubators switched on get them dialed in get them egg boxes ready uh, and yeah and just enjoy the season as they come um, and being as is that time of season pretty soon we'll have all these babies hatching and we'll want you know we'll be wanting and looking to sell them so in the next few weeks or week should i say i'll be doing a video regarding morph market and giving you guys some help some hints and tips and some helpful information i've uh, been speaking to john and uh, yeah just just some updates on the morph market guys it is the place to sell your animals okay everyone take care hope you're all well thanks for all your support remember listen one thing I do want to say, it doesn't matter how small your channel is or how big it is, it's just the the love I get off you guys and the shout outs. Even though you may think you're a small channel and you think my channel's big and I've got loads of subscribers, I still love the shout out guys. They do mean the world to me, okay? And again, um, what can I say? You, you're all amazing. You're all amazing. So take care everyone and I'll speak to you guys soon.